The universe is a place that holds mysteries beyond what our minds can comprehend. Within the universe, there are billions of galaxies, satellites, stars, and planets that are thought to reach the trillions in number. Humanity, since the day it has existed, has always been extremely curious about space, even if only from its edges. For thousands of years, the leading scientists of humanity have studied space and the planets. Of course, in ancient times, because technology was very limited, these observations were mostly done with the naked eye and with the knowledge of physics and mathematics of that period. However, today, technology has advanced so much that we can observe our solar system with massive telescopes, and even, thanks to enormous satellites, we can send out radio signals and capture the ones sent back to us. Of course, humanity's curiosity did not stop there. Scientists have been conducting research with great enthusiasm on how to travel through space, cover vast distances in short times, and reach places we have never seen before. Although it cannot be said that we have been very successful so far, even failures in science are actually progress in technology and knowledge. The first obstacle in front of humanity when it comes to space travel is, of course, the enormous distances between systems and the speed of light. Today, together with you, we will explore what the speed of light is, what kind of studies are being conducted, and why it is nearly impossible to reach that speed. Before we begin our video, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and like our videos to support the continuation of our content. Now let's begin our video on the speed of light. First, let me tell you what the speed of light is. The speed of light is defined as the distance light travels in one second in a vacuum. And this speed is 299,792,458 meters per second. To put it in kilometers per second, it is about 300,000 kilometers per second. This is such a speed that in just one second, light can travel around our planet exactly 7.5 times. This speed is usually represented by the letter C in physics and is one of the fundamental constants of the universe. That means it cannot vary anywhere. You may have heard that the speed of light is a limit in terms of velocity and that going beyond it is physically impossible. But why exactly is it impossible? I mean, couldn't a much more advanced civilization somehow surpass this speed and find completely different methods? Let me explain. The biggest guidance here comes from Albert Einstein's special theory of relativity. According to this theory, no information or matter can travel faster than the speed of light. The reason Einstein gave for this is that as speed increases, the required energy also increases, and the energy needed to travel faster than the speed of light is impossible to obtain. Moreover, as an object approaches the speed of light, its mass appears to increase. This is called relativistic mass. And as mentioned earlier, to accelerate even further, infinite energy would be required. Therefore, for these reasons, both reaching and surpassing the speed of light are impossible. For example, even today, to accelerate a human or a spaceship to 99.9% .9 of the speed of light, we would need technology and energy far beyond what we currently have. For this reason, even if one day approaching the speed of light becomes possible, it is not something that people alive today will ever witness. At best, maybe your grandchild's grandchild will live to see such a monumental development. The theory of relativity also tells us about the following aspects. As any object approaches the speed of light, time slows down for it, and this is called time dilation. Just like in the movie Interstellar that you all have watched, for a person or object traveling at the speed of light or at a speed very close to it, even if only one month has passed, for the people living on Earth, hundreds or even thousands of years may have gone by. Since this topic is so fascinating, it has been featured in many science fiction movies. Scientists working on the speed of light know very clearly that it is impossible to reach it, and that's why they are currently conducting studies that only aim to approach the speed of light. As we said, this is the most logical move that can be made for now. 
Scientists have proposed many theories to solve this speed problem. One of these, and perhaps the most popular, is a project called Laser Propulsion Systems. The aim of this project is to push miniature-sized spacecraft with lasers and accelerate them up to nearly 20% of the speed of light. This project has drawn the attention of both scientists and people who are curious about the subject, and many consider it to be very logical. Indeed, it is very logical and perhaps one of the most feasible projects. If this project could be realized, it would only take us 20 years to reach Alpha Centauri, the closest star system to our solar system. Now, 20 years may sound like a very long time to you, but the distances in space are so vast that the human mind simply cannot comprehend them. For this reason, 20 years is actually very optimistic and quite a short period of time. Another project is known as the warp drive. The main concept of this project is to bend the space-time relationship in such a way that a spacecraft could travel not by accelerating directly, but by sliding through space as if using a portal. This project truly looks like it came straight out of a science fiction book, and technologically, we are still far behind to make it real. We could even say we don't have the necessary materials for this project. The most important material in this project is negative energy. It also involves many other exotic materials, none of which, unfortunately, exist in our possession. Since any object with mass can never reach the speed of light, scientists have wondered, could massless particles reach it? First of all, massless particles, such as photons, already move at the speed of light. However, thanks to the Large Hadron Collider at CERN, scientists have managed to accelerate some massive particles very close to the speed of light. For example, at CERN, protons were accelerated to as much as 99.9% .9 of the speed of light. As you know, protons and electrons are particles with mass. Scientists were very hopeful after this development, but then they encountered Einstein's statement that reaching or exceeding the speed of light requires infinite energy. And indeed, they saw that in a way Einstein was right, because none of the experiments conducted were enough to reach or surpass the speed of light. However, in 2011, a claim that shook the world emerged. In Italy, during the opera experiment, it was claimed that neutrinos had traveled faster than the speed of light. The whole world was shocked by this claim and it became headline news everywhere. Because if this were true, then Einstein's theories that had been accepted for years would be disproven. However, later research revealed that this situation was actually caused by an error in a cable in the measuring device. In other words, Einstein was once again proven right. As you can see, for the reasons we mentioned, reaching or surpassing the speed of light is impossible. However, scientists still tirelessly continue to develop projects that aim to get as close as possible to light speed. Like many others, you might also imagine that once we reach the speed of light, we could travel across the entire galaxy, or even the entire universe. But as we know, the universe is expanding every second, and exploring all of it is impossible, even if we could somehow travel faster than light. While exploring the entire universe is a highly utopian dream, some groups believe that reaching the speed of light would allow them to roam freely across our galaxy. Unfortunately, I have some bad news here as well. As I mentioned earlier in this video, distances in space are incredibly vast, so vast that our minds cannot fully comprehend them. The distances are so extreme that even if you were to travel at the fastest speed known, the speed of light, it would still take you nearly 170,000 years just to exit our galaxy completely. And to make things even more astonishing, to truly escape the gravitational influence of the Milky Way, you would need to travel at light speed for millions of years. So, as fast as light speed may sound, when it comes to exploring space and reaching other galaxies, it is actually painfully slow. That's why scientists are also considering alternative solutions that are not solely dependent on light speed. One such idea is the concept of a generation ship, a massive spacecraft 
capable of sustaining around 10,000 people, where multiple generations would live and die during the journey. One generation would begin the voyage, and once they passed away, the mission would be continued by the next, and so on, until the destination was reached. While this may sound reasonable to some, in our view, it carries major flaws. The generations born and raised aboard the ship might struggle to coexist, or worse, they might forget the very purpose of their mission, or even forget about Earth itself. For this reason, such a project doesn't seem realistic in terms of human psychology and physiology. Still, projects like these show how far scientists are willing to push their imagination, developing countless concepts not only to solve the problem of light speed travel, but also to create ways to journey across the cosmos without depending on it. Of course, we've only shared a glimpse of these ideas with you in this video. There are dozens of other fascinating projects we could talk about, but to keep things simple and engaging, we try to keep our documentaries relatively short. If there's enough demand, though, we'd be more than happy to extend our videos, or even release a second part on this topic. That's all from us for today. I'm really looking forward to seeing you in our next video. But before we say goodbye, don't forget to subscribe, like, and leave a comment to help our channel grow even faster. Take care, and see you soon.